Rod Laver, Margaret Court, Ken Rosewall, Roy Emerson and Billie Jean King. These are the names that come to mind when thinking of the pivotal era in tennis that was the 1960s. It was the era that tennis became an internationally known professional sport. It was the era of controversy between the amateur and professional circuits. And it was when the open era began. It was also the era in which Australia dominated the tennis scene. During the 1960s, the professional tour, a completely separate tour from the amateur tour, really began heating up. The two main players who contributed to the success of this tour were Ken Rosewall and Rod Laver. Ken Rosewall turned professional in 1956 at only 22 years of age, after already winning four Grand Slams on the amateur tour. And for the remaining 12 years of this tour, he won 15 major titles. And more notably, Rod Laver, after six Grand Slam titles and winning the Grand Slam in 1962, moved across to the professional tour. The reason for this, these moves being that it was very difficult to make a living playing tennis while on the amateur tour. As a result, in 1968, the Grand Slams officially decided to allow all players to compete at the Grand Slams, officially being the dawn of the Open Era. This is seen as the most important decision in tennis history. With the professional tour gaining popularity and more players wanting to make a living playing tennis, it was seen as a logical system to reaffirm the Grand Slams as the pinnacle of tennis and to make sure that the best competition was centred to one location. As a result, Rod Laver won five of the next seven Grand Slams, winning another calendar Grand Slam in 1969. As for who won the amateur Grand Slam titles in the mid-1960s, from 1961 to 1967, another Australian, Roy Emerson, won 12 Grand Slam titles. Also, Manuel Santina and Fred Storr were successful in this period. On the contrary to the men, there was no professional female circuit to compete with the amateur tournaments. Therefore, the Grand Slam champions of this time were more relevant. In this decade, Marco Court dominated, winning 16 of her total 24 Grand Slams. Other significant figures in this era were Maria Bueno and Billie Jean King, who arrived later in the decade and continued her impressive career well into the next decade. The 60s was an extremely significant era in tennis which allowed players to play tennis for a living, increasing the quality of the play while also allowing them to play in the most historical and important tournaments. Thank you so much for watching this video and please like and subscribe for more videos like this one and stay tuned for the next History of Tennis video which will be coming soon.